Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss two tire and three tire database architecture. So these are the widely used database architecture, and uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn what are the differences between these two architecture and what are the meaning of these two architecture. So what I'm going to do before discussing database two tire three tire architecture, I'm going to take a real life example which will make this understanding much easier so let's assume there is a person this person name is x and this person wants to start a hot dog business so what he is doing he is spending some of his money and he is buying a cart and he immediately started his business now if we look at the positive side of this business is that it's very easy to implement Okay, it requires less effort and it can be started immediately. Now, he is the only person. So, if anyone coming to Mr. X and uh, he need to buy a hot dog, he will directly contact to this person. So, this person we can say this is the service provider and the customers, those are service takers. Now, let's see what are the negative sides. So we are assuming if a person is coming to him, he will just ask him to wait for some time and he will serve food to him. So he is service provider, he is service taker. So this is the way how this works. But now, now we will see a different situation. So uh, here he is the person who is taking orders. He is the person who is uh, preparing order and he is the person who is delivering order so this one person he has to do all the task now let's see a different scenario now let's assume that there are a number of persons and they came all at a time and uh, so in this situation it will be very hard to manage this situation uh, this particular situation why because this person Everyone asking, give me burger, give me burger. He won't remember to whom he has already given a burger, from whom he has taken money, which person has not given any money to him. So this will create a chaos for him and it will be very hard to manage. So this is the negative side. So this business is good for small number of customers, but the number of customer if increased in that case there will be a problem so this we can relate with scalability so now comes to real database two tire architecture so in real database two tire architecture what is that we are having two parties only one party who provides service another party who takes service so service provider those are actually database server and who takes service these are our applications we develop application so let me take a example let's say i have installed a oracle server on this machine and i am developing a application in java and that application directly interacting with this, this server so the, there are only two parties involved so we can say this is two tire architecture now what are the advantage of this architecture as we have seen in our real life example it's easy to implement or we can say less complexity it's not much complex what you need to do you need to install a server here you need to start developing your application so the advantage part easy to implement and or you can say simplicity but the problem what is the problem now database server these server actually intended to provide uh, data related services so when the number of customer will increase when the number of queries will increase that server uh, that, that situation will be hard for servers to manage the sa uh, similar situation we have seen in our real life example so the disadvantage is the scalability issue and the advantage is simplicity now let's see what is three tier architecture so let's say ki the same person has earned a lot of uh, money and he started his own cafe. Okay. 
now in his cafe he's uh, not taking orders anymore he hired a staff and uh, so if someone coming to his cafe there is one person to take his orders waiters now let's see this business structure now in order to start this cafe this person has to buy land then he has to invest in the constructor construction part then he has to hire all staff he has to take care of all the account he has to take care of all the financial need so now uh, the burden is increased so we can say uh, in this case there are a lot of complexity so now let's see uh, the execution of this business model so if someone is coming to his restaurant waiter will be there waiter will ask customer for their orders they will give order to waiter now once order is received what this waiter will do this waiter will take this order to kitchen okay now the people who are working in kitchen they are the real people who are providing service to the customer customer wants food and these person are preparing food for them but they are not directly interacting okay there is a middle layer so in this case what is the middle layer in this case middle layer is waiter and what's the role of waiter let's say there are hundred of customers so what this waiter will do this waiter will take a order from one by one and uh, he can assign a order a number and he can uh, take those orders to the kitchen and uh, so there will uh, it kinds of a scheduling okay he is providing a order in which order will be processed so the middle layer is waiter who is performing the scheduling task now these kitchen people they no need to worry about like uh, uh, we need to handle a number of customers the way they are receiving their order in the same order they are preparing food so the middle layer is waiter now in three tier database architecture we are having three parties involved application layer this represent our application what we are developing database layer this is the actual database server now there is one more party that party we call middle layer or we can say server side so let me give you a real example of this when you develop a website okay so you need a web server to host that website so let's consider this machine as a web server now in your website you also need some database to store so what you have done you installed a database server on another machine so that website that uh, website on this web server is actually interacting with this database now if and on your website you have provided some web pages so that uh, is according to three tab so let's see so this is the presentation tab this is the presentation of your web pages these are your web pages so let's say on your web pages there is a button get sales total so what user will do user will click on this button now in middle layer on that web server what's happening behind this button a code is written and that code will send a query to database in the particular format we can say sql format okay so query will be written accordingly and then it will be sent now this database tier data tier what it will do it will receive the query and then it will provide the output this output will be processed by your uh, web pages code and they will display this data accordingly so these are two tier and three tier architecture thank you very much for watching